Have you ever wanted a side hustle that you can do from the comfort of your own home? Welcome to Finance Simple, where money is made easy. And here are six interesting side hassles that can help you earn that extra income or even replace your job entirely. Let's get started. Number one is a website named Rev.com. Rev is an online marketplace for remote employment that offers services for translation, captioning, and transcribing. The website allows customers to upload audio and video files, which are subsequently forwarded to independent contractors for transcription, captioning, and translation. The general procedure is to visit rev.com slash freelancers and register there to work as a freelancer. Once you successfully sign up, simply fill out your necessary information and the position you wish to apply for. You will then be taken to a page where you can see all the potential income you can make. Obviously, the more often you use Rev, the more money you'll make. The catch with Rev, though, is that you can plan on earning several hundred bucks per day right now. Number two are websites like Turo and Get Around, those that let you flip your car into a full-time passive income machine through renting it out. To begin using Get Around, just navigate to getaround.com or download the mobile app. It's important to note that Get Around will not permit you to rent a vehicle with a model year prior to 2007. Your vehicle must be older than 25 years and vehicles older than 12 years but under 25 years receive special treatment. Number 3. Selling Website Templates on Etsy The best way is through a more popular and more lucrative template which are Squarespace templates. If you go to Etsy.com and type in Squarespace template, the results will excite you. They go for a very high price range and they just simply sell a lot better. Interesting, right? So, how can you establish this side business and how much money can you make from it? Creating a Squarespace account is certainly the first thing you should do. You may accomplish this by visiting squarespace.com and selecting the Get Started option at the top of the page. Then, when you get on a page with several templates, you can select any of them. It makes no difference, simply select one of them and press Start With. So how can you sell your template on Etsy once it has been created? You'll see that other Etsy shops that offer Squarespace templates have this option here that reads, please specify the email address you'd want to get the template. So take note of that. That's because to sell templates on Squarespace, you would need to go to your custom template, click on Options, click on Permissions, Invite Contributor. They would provide their email when purchasing your Squarespace template on Etsy and you would type it into mentioned email area. Of course, you would also switch on the administrator button to grant them complete access to their website. On to the perspective of the buyer. When the buyer clicks the accept invitation button on the email, the buyer who just purchased the template from you on Etsy will then appear here on this list. At that point, you can click this button that says transfer ownership to give them full ownership of the Squarespace site. It is that simple. Now it's important to note that each time you sell a Squarespace template on Etsy, you need to copy your original design first before transferring ownership. Consider that this is your original custom template as an illustration. If you clicked Settings, went to the Permissions tab, and then transferred ownership, you would be transferring your original template, meaning you would lose access to it once the buyer confirmed the move. That must be horrible, right? The idea is that you only need to build the template once, after which you may sell it as many times as you choose without really having to start over after each sale. So how can you prevent this? Simply look for the duplicate website option, then once you have made one, you can use this for the process of transferring the ownership. Now that the ownership has changed, you will still have access to your original template which you can just keep copying each time it sells. Number 4. Real Estate Photography Photography for real estate is exactly what it sounds like. Real estate photography is the practice of taking images of properties for the purpose of real estate agents, home flippers, and sometimes even landlords. The goal is to make the properties appear as appealing as possible. Therefore, everything will influence how a possible home buyer perceives the property, including your camera angles, the lenses you employ, and the lighting. The objective is to portray a home's inside and exterior as effectively as possible and doing so will require some experience, right? The greatest news is that you can even begin doing this with only your phone and maybe a low-cost phone stabilizer to make your images appear more fluid and professional thanks to today's smartphone's excellent cameras. So how do you get started? If you really don't have any experience, your initial move should be to get some. You start by viewing one of the many free films on YouTube that cover all you could possibly need to know about real estate photography. Even just a little period of time spent watching these movies will provide you with a wealth of information. 
After that, simply practice. You may either photograph real estate utilizing your house, a friend's home, or a relative's home. You should only spend a week or two really honing your technique before going out to photograph three to five various properties and including those shots in your portfolio. Then, you're going to start sending your portfolio to various real estate agents. Your business will continue to grow significantly if you establish a positive first impression with one or two clients. From there, they'll start recommending you to other real estate brokers. The amount of money you make from this will depend on whether you specialize in commercial or residential real estate photography. Number 5. Selling Used Books Online There's a reason why Jeff Bezos launched Amazon.com and initially focused on selling books. Used books are really affordable. At garage sales and thrift shops, second-hand books may be found for literally cents on a dollar. Books are ageless, they're really affordable, you can buy them in quantity, they're even simple to ship, and they're easy to find. All of this was known to Jeff Bezos, who began establishing his publishing empire as a result. Naturally, he ultimately grew, but it doesn't imply the business model is no longer viable. People are still making up to $17,000 or more a month simply from selling secondhand books online, so it's still very much alive and strong. You should visit Goodwill and other local thrift shops, as well as garage sales, Facebook Marketplace, and other places where used goods are sold. Go there and begin using your Amazon seller app to begin scanning each and every book you see. Every single book, unless the binding, the cover, or the jacket have been torn off, after all, if you take the jacket off, it's just a blank book, right? So, unless there is damage to the binding, cover, or jacket, every book will thus have a barcode that, when scanned with your Amazon seller app, will display the exact price the book is currently selling for on Amazon. Lastly, the sixth side hassle is something that is quite popular among the people and some even go full-time with it. What is it? Drop shipping. It is a sort of online retail company that allows a seller to put up a website and sell things that they don't really maintain in stock. Since you may buy things only once you've made the sale and received payment from a customer, this side business takes almost no startup money. Because you can start doing it by yourself from your bedroom using your phone or computer, it's also quite simple to get started and has really cheap overhead. The best thing is that there is essentially no risk because there is no inventory being held by this website. They probably do not even have a formal office place. It's likely just one person in their bedroom operating the entire website from their computer. Those were our six side hassles that you can do all within the comfort of your very own home. Always stay focused on learning and developing discipline. Get educated, make a plan, and stay the course. If you found this informative, smash the like button, please share it with a friend, comment down below, and let us know what would you like to have made Finance Simple next. And definitely subscribe so you don't miss new content. Keep your head up, ears open, and always search for knowledge. See you soon.